Welcome to Idaho Vikings Rhino 8 Software Tutorials for the Pathologically Frustrated. 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 These tutorials are presented in the context of whitewater aluminum jet boat design. Now it's natural that you might point out that there's lots of tutorials available online and so you'd ask the question, well why are you bothering to make these tutorials? Well in my experience, both in the private corporate world and in the public online world, most tutorials and training are either created by engineers who cannot or will not communicate effectively. Please! God damn it! Or by communication experts who do not know the software. This behavior is enabled by a literal ocean of kiss-ass milk-toast trainees who are incapable of effectively criticizing anything. In the end, the effect is that the training and tutorials are not as helpful as they could be. So here is my first attempt to set matters right with a tutorial about how to simply bend a pipe in Rhino 8. If I click the deformation tools in this uh, toolbar here, then we see the, this uh, group of icons pops up and one of them is the bend command. And that is not what you want to use to bend a pipe in Rhino 8. So don't, do not use the bend command to bend a pipe. It will bend things, but not the way you expect it to be bent in an actual bender. So instead use this command which is the flow along curve command. So the first thing I need to do is make a pipe and I'll do this by clicking the curve tools. Then you see I've got a little circle thing I can make. So I'll come over here into this right view and make a little circle. There's my circle. And then I'll come up on surface tools. And then I've got this extrude straight that I can select. Okay, click that and click this thing. Hit enter. And now I'm extruding from the circle a pipe. When I'm done, I'll uh, zoom in a little bit on this perspective view and then rotate it around so you can see, yep, there's a pipe. Now I'll come over on this uh, top view and maximize that so we can see things a little better. And now because I've used the flow along curve command in the past, I know I need to make a straight line above this pipe. So I'll click on curve tools and come over here and click this straight line drawing widget. And then uh, draw a nice straight line across here. Make it as straight as I can. And then I'll click and copy and paste. And then uh, drag that copy down below the pipe. So now I've got the pipe and a straight line above and below. So next I need to draw a bend line. And I'll have to make this in three pieces because uh, that's easiest. So I'll come over here and grab this uh, arc drawing tool. And come out here in the middle and uh, draw an arc. And we'll make it about 60 degrees. Call it good. So there's an arc line. Now I'll come over here and get a straight line tool. And that'll snap to the end of this thing and draw off this way. And I'm using the orthogonal drawing so it's making it a nice uh, flat line there. And now the next thing I've, I've got to draw a line that comes off of here as a tangent. So I'll come up and get this object snap and light that up and come over here and get this uh, line drawing tool again. <coughs> then click on this tangent from tool. Then up here in the uh, command line thing it says uh, select curve for tangent tracking. So I'm going to select this one. And then back up here again, it says pick a point. Okay, so I'll pick a point. And back up here, it says start of line. So I'll head off this way and say, well, 
I'm going to start my line about here. And the next thing it says over here is end of line. So I'll come up and uh, I've got the snapping on at the end of this line. And there you go. So now I've got a th uh, three pieces in the shape that I want. And the next thing I have to do is join all of these three line segments into one. And so for that, I come over here and uh, click this join command. And then go through and click each of the segments and then hit return. And then uh, you can see that I can move them as a groove. They're all joined together. And now finally, we're getting around to the actual flow along curve uh, command. So we'll click on this. Again, this is in the deformation tools, flow along curve. And then in the command line, you see the uh, uh, first thing it says is select objects to flow along a curve. So I'll come in here and click the pipe and hit enter. Okay, so it says base curve, select near one end. So the base curve is actually our straight line. Uh, so we'll pick this straight line right here. And then the next thing in the command window, it says target curve, select near matching end. Okay, so we select that near the, the same end as the uh, base curve. So we click, and there's the pipe. And you notice that this curve is the same distance from the bent pipe as this curve is from the straight pipe. Okay, so we'll run this again just to see what happens. And okay, click flow on curve. We click the pipe. Hit enter. Then we click the line below the pipe this time. And then hit uh, the curve line again. And there you go. Now it's above the curved line. So with these two uh, straight lines, uh, they influence the position of the bent pipe relative to the curved line. So in one case, the curved line is approximately the inside radius, and in, in another case, it's the outside radius. If you put the straight line right down the middle of the pipe, then that would be a center line radius. So there you go, you've bent this pipe. And uh, n notice that the curved line, it stops here, but the pipe keeps going all the way to the full length. And uh, it appears that what the software assumes is that you just keep going in the same direction as the end of this line. Uh, so now you just have to come in and chop off these uh, uh, pipes and then you got a couple of grab handles or whatever you want to do in your jet boat. And now if you've made it this far, you probably noticed that the uh, mouse pointer is a little bit wonky. It's not quite in the right place. Uh, that's an artifact of the screen capture software, which is the Xbox capture software. And uh, it's also not showing some small pop-up windows. That would be nice if those would actually appear. Anyway, that was the reason why I was putting in those uh, arrows and other embellishments so you could see better what I was doing. Uh, so in the future, I may be compelled uh, to acquire a different and better screen capture software.